Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten here bringing you part 23 in Let's Play The Sims 4 Nancy Drew. So Nancy is currently sleeping. It is Friday, which is awesome. I do believe that both Nancy and Ned have to work. Yes, Nancy has work in two hours and Ned has work in five hours. And it looks like Ned is reading his logic book because if he can get his logic skill up to two before he goes to work, then he will uh, get promoted. Poor little Iggy here. Um, is hungry and for some reason is not eating his food in his oh no he did eat his food from his bowl let's have Nancy um, get up she's pretty well rested she's not fully rested but not too shabby I think um, Iggy also needs a bath it's hard to tell because Iggy has um, black fur he's totally uh, black so it's difficult to like see any um, smudges on him but I do think he needs a bath so Nancy oh no you were doing what I asked you to do I thought she was getting the Italian meatballs from the fridge and I was like no Nancy I told you to clean up um, we can maybe yeah sorry Nancy that was my bad you can clean that up is she gonna go get good she's gonna get these other ones that were on the floor as well I appreciate that Nancy thank you very much can we, do we have time to give Iggy a bath? We might have to give Iggy a bath later. Mm, we should fill up his bowl, though. Oh, fill and call Iggy to Tina. eat. Oh. Iggy is jumpy. Don't spook him. <laughs> is he scared of the dishwasher? That's funny. Iggy loves the fridge, but hates the dishwasher. You're a goofy little puppy, you. You're goofy. So goofy. Okay, let's have Nancy get some leftovers before she has to go to work. Uh, fruit salad, or let's try and eat up more of these scrambled eggs and bacon before they go bad. Iggy's so happy about his food. Iggy's a little glutton, so he uh, likes to eat a little bit more than maybe he should. But that's okay. He'll just be roly-poly and adorable. Aw, Nancy's going into the dining room to eat with Ned. I love that. That's adorable. Ned doing a good job getting that logic skill. Oh, he's getting it up pretty quickly. He might be able to uh, get that logic skill higher before he has to go to work. He is um, going to be exhausted by the time he goes to work. So hopefully he'll take a nap before he goes to work and then he'll be uh, good afterwards. I don't want Nancy to talk to him because I want him to keep around. getting that logic skill up. Duty calls. Let's join Nancy at work. Once Nancy gets to detectives uh, level 10, we won't be joining her at work every single day, but her performance and her pay goes up a lot faster if we do join Nancy. So I wanna keep joining her until she's really in like the high ranks of her job. Once she's maybe even at level eight, we won't need to join her every day. But for now, I really, we need money and we need her performance to go up so she gets promotions. So <laughs> I'm going to take matters into my own hands and I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make sure that we get all of the money possible and all of the job performance possible because we need it we need it a lot today's gonna be kind of a fun day too because it's Friday so when Nancy is done with work today she um, is gonna have a little a little fun with her what do you call it like her bridal bridal party yeah her bridal party that's what she's gonna do Okay, um, can we interrogate our suspect? Yes, okay, good. She escaped yesterday, but um, looks like one of the cops found her overnight, so we can interrogate Janet, which we should do because we need to uh, finish up this case. So, Nancy, if you would be so kind as to go uh, ask Janet to come out of the cell, and then we will interrogate her. Uh, this is a kidnapping me. case, remember. This was kind of a rough case. This sim is an erratic genius, and she's also a uh, Ravenclaw because I have the Daisy Harry Potter mod. Woga? Ooh. <laughs> oh, good. We got it quickly. Sometimes they just stand here and stare at each other for forever, and it takes Nancy just ages to get the suspect into the interrogation room. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe it's still going to take ages. I want to get a nice uh, view here of the suspect. Usually we look at Nancy, but we'll uh, view the suspect today. Nancy, it's already 10 o'clock. Come on, please bring Janet into the interrogation room so we can get a confession from her for this kidnapping case. Very scary, these kidnapping cases. Nancy, 
Thank you. <laughs> I have to yell at my Sims to get him to do anything. She's looking suspicious. Okay. Nancy has been going for the uh, good cop and the uh, evidence kind of cop. So she's going to first ask politely for information. Um, even though Janet is very suspicious. <laughs> she's not looking happy. She's very tense. And then we're going to start um, sharing information. Oh, yes. So we asked politely for information. Oh, that did um, do a little bit. Show me boof narskal. Mm-hmm. So Nancy's like, you know, it's going to be a lot easier uh, if you just cooperate Zarza. right away. The uh, room is Quema. She's reviewing Naya the case Zuya file. Arbidoy. Oberoi. Suspect's looking pretty nervous. This is good. We want the suspect Shimba to look Mubis. nervous. Uh -huh. Nippa. Showing her some pictures Oga. from... <gasps> The, <laughs> um, the crime scene. Um, <gasps> pretend to check your phone, Nancy. <laughs> the suspect, ooh, yeah, that got her. Uh, the fact that we have some crime pictures. Show us some fingerprint evidence. She's annoyed that we're checking her phone. That's funny. <laughs> and then we'll show a witness statement. <laughs> She's super annoyed. Uh, She's like, don't you even care that I kidnapped this person? Oh, Fluba. Abarana. Oh, it's making... Oh, now Arimba. she's tense. It wanted, made her want to does. share more information. Nancy's like, yes, oh, by the I'm way, not... we have your fingerprints all Zanala. over the crime scene. Ah, so, Fadish. that's not looking good oh, for you. Fluba. Oh, she's nervous. <sighs> she's nervous. Uh, Janet seems worried. Uh-huh. And Nancy's like, yeah, Nipa? and we also have several witness Oga. statements that say that you knew Mom's the kidnapping e victim. Ruby. Not looking good for you, <sighs> Janet. Will this get us a confession? <sighs> oh, oh, not yet. Don't. Oh. She's uh, kind of upset, uh -huh. but we can't get a confession <laughs> yet. Um, Ooh. Make false promises. She's like, you know, if you come clean now, we might mm -hmm. be able to make things a little less... Less mm. awful for you here. Come on, Nancy. Make false promises so that she'll uh, give us the last bit of information we need before she'll make a confession. Oh, she's looking at super borb. We'll give you martinis! <laughs> she's like, okay. <laughs> the suspect is guilty. She's like, oh, well, jail doesn't sound too bad if I get martinis. <laughs> Nancy. Oh, but gosh. Work for Ned starts in about uh, one hour. Ah, can we get Ned it. to, uh, hmm. oh, we can't get him to build any uh -huh. skills. Okay, well, that's fine. We also need to make sure that Ned's keeping an eye on his garden. Every time I've checked it, um, it's actually been in pretty good shape. It doesn't need watering or, or anything. And I wonder if that's because we have good soil. Nice work. That's one more criminal off the streets. Good job, Nancy. Okay, there's no civilians that I can ask for reports from. This is another officer. Oh, I want a purple shirt. We can get some fingerprints um, from some suspects, some criminals. Fingerprint. Uh, let's just fingerprint this Brittany person. Get some job performance. Um, interrogating a suspect gets surprisingly little uh, job performance. Like, that should be a whole thing, especially since it takes so long. It really shouldn't uh, be so minimal. Ned is off to work. Good job, Ned. Um, can we, what can we have Ned do at work? He can work hard, study space. Increases logic skill, lowers work performance. Okay, study space, so maybe we can get his logic skill up enough that it will, um, that it'll work. Can we lock her in a cell? Lock, oh, nope, not. Not that. Lock and cell. Okay, let's put her uh, back in the cell because we don't want her to just wander away. That would be unwise. That's what we did with um, uh, Janet here. She just kind of wandered away from us. Very sneaky. Um, can we take this computer? Is this Joe? I always assume that it's Joe, and it's not. It's Juliana. Uh, Juliana Morton, Iola, and uh, Chet's mother. <laughs> Okay, Nancy, can we borrow the computer from her and we'll browse the police database? And then we'll probably need to get a new case. We 
could also go on patrol, but now that Nancy's a detective, I want her to keep solving cases. I think that's where her skills are best put to use. Plus, Nancy's not very good at going on patrol. Barrage. <laughs> Sometimes she is and sometimes she's not. She's very inconsistent going on patrol. You go, Nancy, go. How close are we to getting a... If we do really well today, I bet we can get a promotion. Oh. Work really hard, Nancy. Oh, the only other thing we can do is take a police report. There's no civilians. Oh, here's a civilian. Right? Anaya Gasak. You were at their last crime scene. And now she's come to... Uh, Say something else. Take a police report from her. <laughs> quickly, Nancy, quickly. We want a uh, really good job performance today. A promotion would be extremely helpful. This is a very colorful outfit. She's got a blue top, a yellowish, greenish uh -huh. skirt, and orange shoes. Ah, sir, body. I'm not a sir. Sir, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I saw my neighbor out in his front yard the other night. Then there was this bright light, and he was gone. The next day, he seemed different. That sounds like an alien abduction, ma'am. Um, but I am not a sir. <laughs> so, excuse me. Get a case assignment. Nancy should have been like, do I look like a man to you? Ah, Glenna Hosey. Uh-huh. Okay, what's our next case assignment, Nancy? Hopefully it's something good. Ooh, there's a heat wave today. It's really hot. It's almost the last day of summer. I am so excited for fall, you guys. I literally cannot wait. Okay, we got our new case assignment. Let's start our case map. It is 3.12, still doing pretty good on time. We just need to make sure we do things very quickly. Um, after she starts her cross-reference police database, can we still use this evidence from other crimes? Maybe we um, found the kidnapper but we still haven't found the person that was kidnapped maybe because this is the same map that we had from our last case so maybe this case isn't quite done this is definitely nancy's most serious case yet so we've um found our apprehended our suspect but we still don't know where the person who got kidnapped went it's still a mystery Add clues to the crime map because we're still using evidence from our previous case and then maybe we can analyze um, one of these evidence samples. Nancy has discovered that the suspect is wearing shorts. So maybe there was a, um, what's the word? When you have somebody working with a criminal, an accomplice. Maybe there's an accomplice to this case that we don't know about, that we need to find. Okay, so Nancy's gonna analyze some evidence here. She's getting pretty close to the next logic skill. She should teach Ned some logic skills since he needs it for work as well. Oh, she's only at level three. She'll be at level four soon enough. Analyzing the evidence. Oh, good job, Ned. Okay, Ned's at level two, and now I want him to work hard. So he's at level two. He's lost a little work performance while he was getting his logic up. But if he works really hard for the last part of his day, hopefully we can get his performance up again. Good job, Ned. He really needs to go to the bathroom, though. Take a bathroom break, Ned. <laughs> Let's go add some more clues to the map. Our evidence analysis was successful. That is good. Nancy um, needs to... Use the restroom, it looks like. Yeah, these are all the same pictures from the last case. So I think we're still looking... Ooh, the suspect is an art lover. We're looking for an accomplice now. We have enough evidence to do an APB. Not quite. Um, let's... Oh, we need to do something quick. Can we cross-reference really quickly? I think that's a little bit faster than analyzing evidence. Uh, do the witness report. The crime witness report. We just have to get Juliana off the computer. Stat! Juliana, we need the computer. I'm sorry, we keep stealing your computer today, but we really need it. Thank you. Yeah, she got off pretty quickly. Ooh, baby. Okay, Nancy, quickly, 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 quickly. Cross reference. If we get 100% job performance, we might be in luck. We need the monies. Yes, good job, Nancy. You did it. Now I will let you um, go to the bathroom. <laughs> go to the bathroom and. Oh, the Spice Festival is in town. That's kind of fun.
Show festival info. Where is the spice festival? Harvest fresh produce. Oh, we could go get fresh produce for Ned's garden. Maybe Nancy should go there with her bridal party. I was thinking Nancy would go for a spa day with her um, bridal party, but maybe she'll go to the spice festival. Uh, hmm. I'll have to think about it. She is hungry, and she it would definitely get more food at the spice festival. Uh, the festivals are pretty fun. We can always go to the spa another time. But I kind of had my heart set on the spa. But the Spice Festival would be cheaper, and we really should be saving money right now. Maybe we should go to the Spice Festival. Now I'm kind of leaning more towards the Spice Festival. But we can definitely go to a spa another time. Let's have Nancy um, just use the facilities. It's nice that there's a shower at work. That she can just I use real quickly. Oh. So if we can get her in a real good mood before she gets home, then she'll be uh, all set to go out with her friends. And knowing the club, the guys are going to crash the party too. I don't think Nancy would care. And I'm sure when Ned has his bachelor party, I think all the girls are going to crash that too. So we'll just go with it. It's fine. Ned's not going to crash this one because he's busy at work. Which, by the way, how is it going? He still really needs to go to the bathroom. <gasps> yes. Good job, Ned. Okay, keep working hard. You can do it. I want you to get a promotion. I have to sneeze. Nancy has been promoted to sergeant. She's also received a bunch of bonuses to serve and protect sign, security cameras, a $624 bonus. Ooh, good job, Nancy. Look at all that money. She earned 913 plus her big bonus. That is awesome. Plus, I think she has stuff in her inventory that she can now sell. Because we don't want security cameras in our house, nor do we want uh, weird signs. We're just going to sell all this stuff and make more money. The more money, the merrier. Because I'm sure we'll have bills again soon. Plus, they need to save up for their honeymoon. Although either honeymoon location that they go to, they're going to stay at for free. Because Nancy wouldn't have to pay at Sally's cabin. Um, ever. Nor would she have to pay the Lilac Inn because of the mystery she solved there. I'm sure she would totally get to stay for free. But you know, there's food costs and other stuff. The wedding is already paid for, so we don't need to worry about that. Promoted to sergeant. Good job, Nancy. I'm so proud of you. Okay, let's go to our uh, lovely little build mode here and see what we have in the inventory. Oh, yes. <gasps> $730. Yes, sell all of the stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this isn't stuff we would use in the house anyway. This is totally... Have you seen these lawbreakers? Ugh, yeah, we are selling all of this. Oh my gosh, that was a great promotion. We now have $5,000. That is awesome. Nancy, I am so proud of you. So we totally could go to the spa now. Um, I'm going to have Nancy change her outfit into... I mean, it's still hot, so maybe one of her hot weather outfits... Let's do this one. We haven't worn this one yet. So Nancy's got a fun little outfit on. I think Iggy probably still needs a bath, although he's looking happier now. Is he clean? Did you get clean while we were gone? I think he did. He's not dirty anymore. He's so tiny, I have to zoom in, like, all the way. He looks a little sad, though. So let's have Nancy go give him some attention. Let's pet him. Let's um, hug him. We'll give him a big treat because he's a little glutton. Um, and then we will uh, praise him for being so stinking adorable. Yes. A bag? Why are you excited about a bag? You're not a cat. Cats would be excited about a bag. <laughs> Time to widen your palate and cookbook. Let's sample some of the food at the Spice Festival and see if we can figure out the recipe. Yes, Dad, we want to do that. Um, bring some friends along. Do we want her dad to come along to our bridal party? Yeah, whatever. Bring some friends along. It's li it's basically like a bridal shower slash bachelorette party kind of thing. Um, let's we'll invite the girls, Helen, Bess, and George, and I'm just going to assume that the guys will show up. Bess, George, Helen. Okay, let's go. Time to go to the spice festival, and I think it's really sweet that Nancy um, can pick up some. Uh, fruits and vegetables for Ned to plant as well because that's just cute 
she can give him some goodies for his garden. That's Ned's uh, favorite hobby right now. He is working as an astronaut, but he is hobbying as a gardener. It's a great hobby too, honestly. I wish I was better at gardening. I definitely do not have a green thumb. I have managed to keep my flowers uh, alive all summer. I do have a couple like just potted plants out on my deck and I've managed to keep those alive. Most of them. Some of them died, but then I replaced them. So now they're all alive again. <laughs> Uh, it's rough. It's rough. But let me know if the, in the comments if you have a green thumb, if you're really good with plants. If so, I admire your skills and your talents. Okay, here we are. We are arriving in San Maishuno at the Spice Festival. I think Carson is allowed to come along since he didn't get to come over yesterday. What are you wearing, Carson? That is not a Carson outfit. You look ridiculous. <laughs> what are you wearing? I don't think Carson, first of all, would ever be seen in a tank top or cargo pants. Oh my goodness, Carson. Sample food at the festival. We can do that. Let's give your dad a hug first. Say, Dad, thanks for arranging this. Maybe he um, was the one that like wanted to make sure that Nancy had a fun party with all of her friends. I think that's really sweet. Okay, so there's like all of this really spicy food over here. Where, oh, here we go. I was like, where is all of the food? Can we get food from these places for free? Since it's the Spice Festival, or do we still need to pay? Oh, here we go, here's some samples. Um, what should Nancy sample? Tahin, si, so, so pao, I have no idea how to say that. Ban mi. Um, let's try some banh mi. Grab a serving, uh, sample the food. Go ahead and sample some food, Nancy. Where'd all the girls go? <laughs> what are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Who are you? Rita Fermage. Oh, lava. You're not even at the basketball court. You're just like bouncing a basketball in the middle of the hallway. Helen is at the basketball court. Helen knows what she's doing. That's hilarious. Guys, go, <laughs> go do the thing better. You goofballs. Oh, and Vlad is tending the bar. That's so funny. Um, Nancy, let's get some drinks together. Can we uh, order drink? Order drinks for group. Let's get something not too expensive. Um, not cream cola. We could get some red wine. Wine is always good for a bachelorette party. Um, yeah, let's get some wine. Do we want white wine or red wine? I kind of feel like Nancy would be a red wine kind of girl. I don't know why. Um, let's get the Von Hunt Estate Melois. Go get some red wine for the group, Nancy. Order some drinks for the girls oh, who are yes. for some reason playing basketball in the middle of the walkway here. <laughs> are you coming to get drinks? Here, Bess is like, uh, we're getting drinks, yes, please. <laughs> oh good, and the lights finally turned on. Um, Nancy, oh. tell a dramatic story about what you're doing at work. Bess would love to hear all the gossip at work. Uh huh. And uh, tell George, too. There's your dad. Um, let's see. What do we want to talk to George about? Uh, discuss Herbs fitness techniques. Potion. Ask George for some advice. Because then Nancy does have to... George, what are you doing? George, get out of the pole. You, you weirdo. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> but no Helen's come on over. She's like, oh, we're getting drinks. Ooh, it's not coffee, the but red wine is delicious. Oh, Ruda Kampoi. I'm actually not a huge red wine fan. I definitely prefer uh, white wine. Carson is like, this is good stuff. <laughs> I love that Carson arranged this uh, bridal shower for Nancy. That's actually really sweet. Um, because it's typically like the mom that arranges kind of like a bridal shower. But obviously um, Nancy lost her mom when she was young. So Carson has played the role of kind of mother and father for Nancy in her life. Can we like toast or something? Lamina Galpa Watini. 
Sloopy. No uh, lips. Can we make a toast? Or a guy. Mm -hmm. It would be so cute if Nancy could make a toast. They're all ah. standing around drinking red wine together. This is perfect for a bridal shower. I want to get a picture, but George is being weird in the pole. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Pitching up. Can we talk to Go Helen? To Nancy right. definitely needs to get to know Helen a little bit more. Uh, let's get to know Wednesday. her. <laughs> um, <laughs> and discuss oh. interests. Talk about, yeah, discuss interests. Fun and gravy. Oh, yim. Oh, Helen's Boy, a cool. Oh, yoyim. Uh -huh. Discussing Hello. interests. They're having Hello, just yim. a nice time Hello. hanging out. Discuss world peace. Nancy likes mm -hmm. to talk about world peace. Carson, I still can't get over your outfit. And everyone else is now in their athletic wear no because they were um, playing around with the basketballs. Okay, Nancy, let's, can we like grab a serving of something together? She tried the bond me. Um, or did she not try the bond me? This, this looks really good. Um, let's grab a serving of this together. Can the group like bring our wine and uh, go get some sea pow together? Nancy's like, I don't like vampires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she really doesn't like Vlad. Lara. What is her oh. issue with Vlad? <laughs> Nurtual Kosinex. Mm -hmm. Interesting. She's got a negative relationship with Vlad, ah, Grandmaster Vampire. Nancy must not be a vampire fan. Maybe it's because she thinks vampires aren't real. The Shire. Um, but in The Sims, they actually totally are real. So he's upset with her for implying that he does not exist. Okay, Carson has finished his red wine. Nancy's just kind of standing around. They're all laughing with each other. Best telling a fun story to Helen. <laughs> Very nice. Um, discuss some interests with Bess. What a fun little group. Just hanging around, uh -huh. listening to some fun music. Right in George's oh, day. Gibbs. Hey. <laughs> oh, Bess is outgoing. Yeah, we knew that. I love her uh, pink tracksuit, too. Oh. That is so Bess. Tell a joke about aliens. Yeah, there was this uh, civilian that came into work today that uh, said that her neighbor was abducted by aliens. Oui. Kind of crazy, right? <laughs> For Roby physique. Oh. Fuzzoob! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, it was so funny. Oh, I'm sure Nancy doesn't Tuba. believe in aliens yeah, either, but again. Oh, she can make a toast. Uh, make toast. Mm -hmm. Toast Carson. Please. That would be so cute. Give Carson a toast. Yay! Oh my gosh, Ned made a lot of money too. Yay, we don't have money problems anymore. And he got a rocket? Uh -huh. He can point out constellations interaction. That's so cute. Can we, like, if I get rid of this, will she toast Carson? I want the group to toast Carson. Mustish. <laughs> Moosty Prita. A toast to my dad for arranging ah. this and <laughs> being a, a, such an amazing father. And all the girls Grisham. toasted him. That was so Wapita. cute. Oh, Carson loves that. He Wapita. makes me so happy. That is amazing. That was adorable. Thank you for being there for me, dad, especially as I am about to get married. I would not be where I am today without you. That's so cute. Bess has finished oh, her yes. wine. Oh, Nancy learned that George is self-assured. That makes absolute sense. Uh, Bess is uncomfortable. Why are you mad, Bess? Why are you sad? Savrim Lumesh. Discuss uncomfortable mood. We can ask her, actually. Bess. <laughs> Telling some sort of joke that's adorable. Oh, look at all those plants over there. Uh, Brighton Carson's Day. What are these, exactly? Parsley? We don't have parsley, do we? Can we even harvest the parsley? We can't harvest the basil either. What's this? An onion, spinach, sage, mushrooms, onion. What's this? Grapes? We have grapes. Strawberries? We don't have strawberries. Interesting that they aren't like grown though. Okay, Nancy has finished her wine. Can we now um, do what I wanted you guys to do and actually go grab a serving of the si pao together? Grab a serving together. 
Okay, now it's gonna work. Now she's doing it. She and Carson are heading over. George is heading over. Bess, did you get another wine? Or were you still finishing your first one? <laughs> oh, they don't even have plates. They just eat them. Are they like little dumplings? They look delicious, whatever they are. Does this count as sampling food at the festival? I hope so. Carson, come sit with us. Oh, George, come sit with us. Everyone come sit with us. This is a fun little night out before uh, Nancy's Nancy's Grinza. wedding. <laughs> Express Hello. admiration. I think I'm, what I'm going to do too before uh, we have their wedding is um, have Helen, George, and Bess get bridesmaids dresses. Um, so I'll do like a little... Oh, is there like meat inside or who's something? Who's that Chuba? Yeah, it oh, like Zappelnorf. <laughs> And uh, then I'll get uh, Frank, Joe, and Chet to have um, nice uh, uh -huh. groomsmen <laughs> outfits as well for their Suga. for the wedding. I think it'll be really sweet. <laughs> Having fun. Bess, what are you doing over uh -huh. there? Is she sick? She's like oh. talking about medicine. I think Bess might be sick. Ooh, Maybe that's why she's uncomfortable. She's like, but you know what? Red wine helps. <laughs> and now she needs to go to the bathroom. George, we have room over here. You should join us. I don't know how I would feel about putting my dumpling down on a city table and then eating it. Like, I would prefer a plate or I would rather just hold it. Squamish Carson's telling Nancy a nice story about work. Helen, too. How about that rain, huh? We had a couple rainy days. It's cloudy here today, but it's not raining, which is kind of nice. George, what are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, oh, come join the conversation. So let's ask oh, Bess about her day. I'm sick of um, flesh. Why she's so uncomfortable. Chemo? And let's try and um, organ organ. plan to wrap bacon around everything. What are you thinking, Nancy? Uh, let's just talk about our dreams with George. <laughs> Nancy's feeling very inspired from the savory aromas at the Spice Festival. It's hard not to be inspired by the delicious scent of local cuisine. Bon and gravy? Cooking skill gain is increased. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ah. Oh, there's, is there really anywhere to cook? I guess we could cook on the grill. That's no! No, Bess, why? <laughs> Bess, that's so not okay. Bess, she's upset, obviously. <laughs> Bess, this is what happens with two sims. They don't take care of each other. Or they don't take care of themselves at all. Um, let's go sample this food. Because apparently we need to sample five times in order to um, have a successful evening. Oh, Nancy can just walk through walls. Okay, good job, Nancy. So she's taking a little teeny tiny sample of the tiki. And then take a little tiny sample of the bon mi again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we don't need to sample. We don't need to sample. That's fine. All right. Is everyone leaving? Yep. Everyone's bouncing. So Nancy's kind of saying goodbye to everyone. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Thanks for hanging out with me. Dag, dag. Nancy loved it. That was such a cute little bridal shower. I loved it. Why can't Nancy harvest these? Is there just nothing growing on them? kind of stinks. The festival will end in an hour. All right, so Nancy had a very happy little bridal shower. Let's have her head home now. It was very relaxing. She's She looks really happy. Like, she's really smiling. She toasted her dad. They all had some nice red wine together. They had some delicious food together. They chatted. The girls played basketball randomly. It was a good night. And now Nancy is just exhausted and happy. And it's so nice to see her um, just so, so happy, so pleased with life. That is amazing to see, and I'm so excited for her. So once Nancy gets home, um, she's probably going to go to bed because she is exhausted. And uh, Ned is probably exhausted too. But Ned had such a great work day at work that like, we don't have any money problems now, which is wonderful. And I'm so excited about that. 
So I think uh, tomorrow, since Nancy has to work and Ned doesn't, uh, he will have his bachelor party. So he'll invite uh, his guy friends out to, I'm thinking one of the pubs in Windenburg, just to play like some foosball and some games and stuff and just have a good old time together. Can we have uh, Ned come out and uh, like give a hug or an embrace? Here we go. Embrace. Embrace your lovely fiance. Put down your scrambled eggs and bacon. We're not having breakfast for dinner tonight. I want you to embrace your lovely, lovely fiance. How are you not exhausted? He must have taken a really long nap. All right, I wanted to go embrace Nancy, because it will be cute. Go be cute. <laughs> How was your bridal shower? Oh, it was so great. Yay, I'm so happy for you. His fun is super low, and his social is pretty low, too. So, you know, one way to fix that. Um, not that one. Uh, there we go. There you go, get your fun and social up and then go to bed. You two little lovebirds. He's like, <laughs> he's like Nancy, you will not oh, believe what happened lack. to work today. Yum oh my gosh. Apologaba. I had to work so hard to get this promotion and I finally did it. But I am so glad I don't have to be a module cleaner anymore. <laughs> Now he is a technician, which is actually pretty good. Astronaut level three. He needs to reach level three logic skill. He's already got his high level fitness skill. How is our garden doing, Ned? Um, everything's okay. Everything's pretty healthy, so that's good. And we have a bunch of flowers that we can actually harvest now too, which I think I'm going to have uh, Mr. Ned collect when he uh, doesn't have work tomorrow. I think that will be his job. Oh, and we have a bunch of plantains that we can get as well and some avocados good deal lots of stuff for us to do in the next episode sounds good to me anyway thank you so much for watching fellow detectives i will see you soon